Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. Okay, we have x squared, sorry, x to the power of 3 plus x to be equal to 68, right? Now, how do I deal with this? Remember, we are to solve this problem completely, meaning that we should bring out the real and the complex solution to this problem. Okay? And what we are going to do is to rewrite this 68. So we have x to the power of 3 plus x equal to 68. I can bring 64 out of 68, then plus 4, right? Now, if both of these go to the left, then we'll be having x to the power of 3 plus x minus 64 minus 4 equal to 0. Now, the next thing that we'll do is to group, right? To regroup what we have here. So we have x to the power of 3 minus 64, then plus x minus 4 equal to 0. And then from here, this 64 can be written as 4 to the power of 3, then plus x minus 4 equal to 0. I can group like this and then factorize, right? Now, from what I have in here, do you know that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b into bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared? Are you aware of this? Now, if this is the case, then in this bracket, I'm going to have x minus um, 4. So this is for what I have in this first bracket, right? Then here, we're going to have x squared plus ab. That will now be 4 times x, right? That will give 4x. Then plus b squared, which will be 4 squared. Close this. Then I have this plus open bracket x minus 4 equal to 0, right? Now from here, x minus 4 into x squared plus 4x plus 16, okay? 4 squared is 16. Then close this plus open bracket x minus 4 is equal to 0. Remember that we are going to solve this problem completely. So here now, we have something common, and that is x minus 4. So we're going to factor out x minus 4. Then in here, we have x squared plus 4x plus 16. Then here now, since the whole of this has come out, 1 will be there. So we have plus 1. Right, so we can close this and equate this to 0. x minus 4 into x squared plus 4x plus 17 is equal to 0. Now we apply 0 product rule. So we get x minus 4 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 4x plus 17 is equal to 0. Now from here, x is equal to 4. So this is the first value of x, and it's a real solution. Then to get the other value of x, we will pick it, we will work with this um, quadratic equation. And we, sh we, we are going to use the formula method to deal with this. The formula is x equal to minus b plus or minus. Then we have b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Our a is 1, our b is 4, and our c is 12. So our c is 17 rather. 
x is equal to in place of minus b i have minus 4 plus or minus then we have 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 17 this is what i have and then this is over 2 now x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus then i have 4 squared that is 4 times 4 and that is giving us um 16 minus 4 times 1 times um, 17 now let's go 4 times 7 is 28 so we write 8 carry 2 then 4 times 1 is um 4 times 1 is giving us um 4 then plus 2 that we carried and 68 so the whole of this is over over 2 now we're going to continue so we have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus we have from um, 16 minus 68 okay so in here we'll have minus um, 52 right so we have 52 over here and this is over 2 right okay let's continue with this so x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus then this 52 here will come out then the negative will be shifted to the next square root so we have square root of negative 1 the whole of this is over 2 now let's continue with this over here so we are having x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 52 multiplied by square root of negative 1 over 2 right so this is what we have now from here x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by 13 because 4 times 13 will give um 52 then square root of negative 1 is imaginary so we put i this is over 2 right now to continue x is equal to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then square root of 13 then i have i and the whole of this is over 2 then we can even rearrange this in a better way so we have x to be equal to minus 4 plus or minus this will come here because this is not under the square root sign so write to i square root of 13 over 2 now what happens 2 can go here 2 we also go there so we're going to have x to be equal to minus 2 plus i root 13 okay i've picked the negative positive then x is also equal to minus 2 minus i square root of 13 so these are the other two solutions so we can call this our x2 and this is our x3 well the first value we had before can be called our x1 so these are the values of x that um, would satisfy the equation thank you for watching